Welcome back, friends. I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And it is Friday evening here in New York. We're drinking a couple of drinks. Cheers. And uh, we figured we would check out some trailers. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And we're going to check out for the first time the teaser trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And before we get into it, I have two questions for you. One, what did you think of Ghostbusters Afterlife? And two, do you feel that we need a sequel to it? Big questions. I have no idea how to answer the second question, but we will give you our wisdom after we've checked out the teaser trailer, which we're going to do right now. So let's do it. Let's go. I'm telling you, it's going to be another hot one out there. In fact, there are heat alerts in effect for New Jersey, feeling like 100 degrees. Oh. oh god. That's my worst nightmare. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh my god. Yikes. Oh, the firehouse! Oh. For the first time in New York history, people froze to death in the middle of July. What is it? The what? The power to kill. Oh my itself. god. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Wow. Your bones crack. And the last thing you see is your own tear ducts freezing up. Like, literally scared to death? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness well i've answered my second question in my own head but before we get to that what did you think of the trailer for ghostbusters or the teaser for ghostbusters frozen empire i when i heard the title frozen empire i wasn't really sure what that could possibly be but i do think that weird twist of it's July and everything's frozen is really cool. We haven't seen that really, especially not in kind of a ghost type movie. Yeah, and I guess the Empire side, the Empire State, New York City, mm. clearly in our backyard. Um, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, you know, it kind of made me think as well. And like we've had a lot of these nostalgia movies, like Bill and Ted Face the Music. I loved seeing the original Bill and Ted cast back together again. I cried when there was the George Carlin a post a posthumous cameo. Um, but would I want another Bill and Ted movie? Not really, because it kind of felt like that closed the the trilogy and the chapter was done. With Ghostbusters, I think the fact that they've introduced these new younger characters and you've got Paul Rudd in the mix. I mean, um, we'll come on to the new cast members in a minute, but uh, I, I think it just gives it a new lease of life. And I love it that you've still got the old cast there supporting them to give it that DNA of traditional Ghostbusters, but you've also got fresh new blood in the mix as well. I, th I think that's amazing. Uh, so let's talk about the new cast. You've got Kamel Nanjani. I mean, who is in everything? Is there? He's in the, the MCU. He's in Star Wars. Now he's in Ghostbusters. What is Kamel not in? Mm. Patton Oswalt. I guess you could almost say the same. It feels like he's in everything these days as well. Yeah, sometimes, several times. Yes. So yeah, I I love seeing that mix of of new blood, old blood. I, I was seriously questioning whether I needed a second Ghostbusters Afterlife mm. 
type movie. But I must admit, I enjoyed that the hell out of that first movie yeah, so much. It was really fun. And the the Egon scene at the end just absolutely broke me. I was just sobbing in my in my chair. I uh, yeah. I uh, but I feel like I need to now go back and rewatch Afterlife in order to watch Frozen Kingdom. But it comes out in March. It said coming soon. Soon March. March isn't very soon. Yeah, I mean the winters are long here. It feels like a frozen empire here in New York for the next six months. So, yeah, I get it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit for this one. But thank you. Thank you for recommending that we check out the trailer. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, we will see you very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds.